Hello, I'm Dr. Connie Blomgren. I'm an associate professor at Athabasca University in the, pro the Masters of Education in Open, Digital and Distance Education. The project I've been working on with two other colleagues from Athabasca University was funded through the Federal Government of Canada through Promo Science and it's about promoting science education. Uh, there was a call for applications in the spring of 2021 and we put uh, an application forward and the entire um, call was for science education promotion of vaccine confidence. So the project was called Accelerating Vaccine Confidence. My colleagues at Athabasca and I talked about what we should put in our proposal and we decided rather than just focusing on COVID-19 and vaccines that it's a bigger conversation. Uh, the idea of accelerating vaccine confidence was actually something that was of concern prior to the 2020 pandemic. And so to have a longer shelf life with our proposed open educational resource project, which is an animation co-created with youth, that we uh, decided that it would be wise to talk about accelerating vaccine confidence in a general way. So we were successful in our uh, funding, which was very fortunate. And thank you to the, you know, the taxpayers of Canada, because this is where it's really coming from. And we are working on an animation that we are co-developing, co-designing with youth. These youth are between the ages of 15 and 21 and come from the province of Alberta. Many of them live in the city of Edmonton, but some are uh, attending high school virtually. So we have people from different parts of the province participating. So our uh, participation comes from the Vista Virtual School uh, with support from the principal, Frank McCollum, and Angela Viola, the high school teacher, science teacher, and also from a nonprofit organization in Edmonton called the Sincunia uh, Community Development Organization with uh, Yasawa is the um, community development officer. And uh, that nonprofit organization, uh, Sincunia, Sincunia, is for uh, youth who have uh, come from families that are living in Edmonton now, but uh, have emigrated from various African countries. So uh, they are being um, part of the Canadian, the Alberta context, and we really support, uh, we, we really are thankful for their support. So we have youth from uh, high school and also youth from a nonprofit organization, after school type of organization, helping us to think through how would we create a story around vaccine confidence. So we used quite a few different uh, participatory technologies, things like Zoom, Padlet, um, Google Documents for collaboration and commenting. And we went through the process of first brainstorming, thinking through some ideas, then creating a story. Uh, and the youth were involved in actually creating different parts of the story, creating characters, helping out with names, uh, character development. What did they look like? What did they sound like? You know, what kind of pets or favorite food? Just trying to give that fulsome character development. And uh, we we centered on a story of a family and there is a youth, a teen, who's the primary uh, character in the story, who's interested in vaccines, well, mostly interested in viruses, has a very active imagination, curious about viruses, curious about how do viruses make us ill and how can we learn more about that. And additionally, is also interested, perhaps, to become a social media influencer. Mm -hmm. 
so throughout the seven minute animation which is a combination of a graphic novel style and animation because uh, the final OER that we are producing is available in both French and in English. And the intended audience will be youth. So we're looking to try and develop something that will have you know, a little bit of a shelf life, help people understand the importance of science literacy in making decisions around vaccines, helping people understand that it's an individual but also a community decision, and also being able to learn how to think through um, critical digital literacies. So we also have portions of the animation that talk about uh, disinformation, malinformation, cognitive biases, uh, how do you make important decisions about your body uh, and its health and um, we'll have resources for teachers and also for uh, nonprofit organizations to be able to use these, uh, again, openly licensed. So we went through a process of creating the storyboard with the youth, then writing the script, uh, well, the script first, pardon me, script, Sco uh, storyboard. We had funding for professional animators, so they were very helpful, obviously, in the actual creation of the storyboard, then moving into animation and um, using uh, Sync Sketch, which is a online uh, cloud-based software where you can provide feedback and comments on the animation as you sort of run it in real time. And um, those edits and suggestions constantly improving the final um, animation. And we're just in the final stages of creating the soundtrack. We have one of the youth being the main uh, protagonist, the main character, which was very exciting to see because we had considered using professional voice actors. And we realized that they are often in their 20s and you know, we're aiming for more of a teen audience with our animation. So having a more youthful voice would be an important part of success. So that was very exciting to see um, this young student uh, audition, create a little audition tape, and then ha work with the animators to create a professional version. And um, the soundtrack is also an important part. There's voices from the youth and actually the other co-creators because there's about 20 people that have been working collectively to w produce this. It's a big, big project. It's not just one person's idea or vision. There's many pieces coming together here and I thank them all for their input. Once we have everything finalized, we'll be sharing it on YouTube, uh, the resources also through OER Commons, and um, working at um, different ways of sharing it uh, because it's an important, uh, timely understanding of how can we have greater confidence in our decisions related to vaccines and how complicated this has become. And how we can uh, inform ourselves in a thoughtful scientific literacy way to ensure that we're making the best decisions for our health. Mm -hmm.